All right, this video is going to be an informational video, and it's going to be about the Ruger Super Red Hawk, in particular the 454 Casul. Uh, if you already have one of these guns, I think you're going to like the information that I share. And if you're in the market for buying a revolver, not sure which one to get, uh, at the end of this video, I think you're going to want a Ruger. But basically, I like technical information. I, I like to know what things are made of, uh, how it's made, the processes that, that it goes through, the testing and stuff like that. And I've had a couple of conversations with, you know, people in the industry and yeah, they said good things and that was cool, but I wanted something in writing and I finally found something and it's in this book here, the Gun Digest Book of Ruger Revolvers, The Definitive History. And I'll tell you what, this book is so good, Ruger should include it with every revolver they sell. Uh, it just has a lot of good info, uh, history, and it just tells you all about your gun. And basically what I want to do is uh, share three little paragraphs in here. And like I was saying, if you already have one of these guns, I think it's going to put a smile on your face. And if you are in the market, this is going to help you make your decision. But basically, uh, this first one is going to be proof testing. And it says here, virtually all of Ruger's revolvers are tested with a cylinder full of proof loads. What are proof loads? They are specially developed loads manufactured by a number of companies that are a fixed percentage higher in pressure than the SAMI maximum pressure of any given cartridge. They are designed to test the strength of a firearm with a known pressure level. The proof loads Ruger uses are standard proof loads of 50% over SAMI maximum pressure. Let's do the math. If a 454 Casul has a SAMI specified maximum pressure of 65,000 PSI, the proof loads must generate roughly 92,000 PSI of revolver destroying pressure, and each and every Ruger revolver is fed a cylinder full of proof loads as part of the inspection slash testing process before the revolver is cleaned and boxed up for retail. So 92,000 PSI, that's crazy. Okay, uh, this section here, uh, this just kind of goes to the longevity, durability of the guns. It says, my good friends, the Lee Martins, built a Black Hawk in 454 Casul in 1996. It has been fed a steady diet of heavy 454 loads to the tune of 5,000 rounds in its 17 years of existence. It has not led a charmed life. Despite nearly two decades of abuse, the frame hasn't budged or grown by even a thousandth of an inch. Ruger revolvers are tough. Okay, this last one here, uh, the Carpenter Saga. This is basically talking about the cylinder. Because everyone that made a 454 Casul, it was always a five shot, but Ruger wanted a six shot. So they went to uh, Carpenter Technology and they used their uh, their custom 465 stainless steel. And uh, it says here that says, Ruger purportedly had a devil of a time boring the chambers. So tough was the material. And then this is real cool here. It says, proof loads were created that generated a monumental 92,000 PSI of pressure nearly 30,000 PSI over the already astronomical SAMI specification pressure of the 454 Casul. But the 454 Super Red Hawk wasn't subjected to just a few proof loads. Rather, in typical Ruger fashion, a full 300 loads were tested. That's 50 rounds per chamber. No measurable damage was inflicted. Okay, that is badass right there. That is tough. Now, how tough is this gun? Well, let's just compare it to uh, the Smith & Wessons, uh, their cartoon guns, the uh, 460 and the 500 mag. Okay, their cylinder is proof to 
71,000 PSI. Okay, and they wanted to see if they could blow the gun up. So they got some proof loads of 90,000 PSI and they put those in their five shooter and it bulged, bulged the cylinder. Okay, this here, 300 rounds of 92,000 PSI and it didn't budge, it didn't hurt the gun. So you want a strong, durable gun right here. Uh, even the, the author he even talks about there's some manufacturers that you can shoot their guns loose. He says you don't shoot a Ruger loose. Okay, so, you know, just strength, durability. I mean, it's the king. It's the king of the hand cannons. Uh, it's a tank. It looks good, and it's cool. You can't beat them. But uh, even, you know, the testing, the, the author talks about, you know, the other companies, they don't, they don't test their guns the way Ruger does. They don't go as far as Ruger. And, you know, they really, you know, want to put out, you know, a good, safe product. And, you know, I know, you know, some of the Rugers, you know, they, they can be kind of rough, you know, from the factory. But, you know, they're, they're easy to work on. You know, they're easy to take apart, you know. And you can work on them and you can get these things working real smooth. You know, this one here, this is a... A 3.4 pound trigger pull and it just you know it breaks right there you know it's cool you know double action single action it's all smooth works good and then you know this one this one's just a little bit better this is a, a 3.1 3.1 pound trigger pull and I think you know this whole this one is just smoother all all around but uh you know you can't uh you can't beat these guns like i said they come apart so easy they're easy to work on and uh you know there's a lot of good information uh in that book you know ruger has their own foundry you know for their castings they do all their own stuff and it says they they even do stuff for other companies so i wonder who that is but uh, you know, the barrels, you know, hammer forged barrels, the, the frames are x-rayed and magnaflexed, you know, so it, uh, you know, these things are, they're built good, tough, and, uh, you know, they're just, this a great gun. And, you know, the 454 Casul, was it, uh, Lynn Thompson of Cold Steel? I, you know, I think he's killed just about everything on the planet with a 454 Casul, so, I mean, wh why do you need more, what, you know, is that, you know, oh, oh, I've got a bigger gun, you know, I guess if that floats your boat, you know, go ahead, but, you know, you might have a bigger gun, but you ain't got a tougher gun, this is it right here, this is, this is the king, this is the Armageddon gun, tough, rugged, and reliable, uh, but anyhow, let's see, what uh, what else? I mean, the book is cool. If you like info, get that book. Uh, <clears throat> one thing that, that I've done on mine was, you know, if you want to do a spring job on them, change the springs, I recommend leaving the factory spring in for the hammer and then go with, uh, I go with the 10-pound trigger spring. It makes it easier, you know, cycling the gun and... Uh, it just it just feels good but uh, if you go too light on your on your hammer spring you could get uh, misfires which that happened to me plus some bad primers but uh, yeah just leave the leave the factory hammer spring in there so anyhow uh, I think uh, that's probably about it on that you know like I said these are awesome guns they're cool and uh, I got no reason to uh, buy anything other than a Ruger. So anyhow, you know, trying to get back into doing videos. And so, you know, hopefully, you know, I do some more. I think I will. I want to. We'll see what happens. But anyhow, take it easy. Thanks for watching.